after Eraserhead, I think I better try to perhaps direct somebody else's script. So I asked Stuart if he knew of any other scripts uh, that I might direct. I called him on the phone, and he said, Why, David, yes, I do know. I know of four different things you could direct. And he said, Come to Nibbler's, and uh, we'll have lunch, and I'll tell you. So I went there, and uh, before we even ordered, I said, Stuart, now tell me. And he said, Okay, David, the first script is a uh, story entitled The Elephant Man and a small uh, bomb went off in my head. Instantly I knew, I said, that's it. That's what I want to do. We went to five or six different studios to present this uh, idea and were turned down everywhere. No one wants to see a film about a monster like this. So um, Stuart was working, and Jonathan, they were both working with Mel Brooks. But I think Stuart gave the script to Anne Bancroft. She read it and really loved it, and she was the one that gave it to Mel to read. Mel loved it, and uh, he said, Okay, uh, the two writers are in. Jonathan Sanger, you're in. Stuart, you're in, but who is this guy, David Lynch? And they said, well, Mel, he is a filmmaker. He made a film called Eraserhead. And uh, Mel said, I've never heard of it. I need to see it. And when they told me Mel needed to see Eraserhead before I was going to be accepted or not, I said, it's been nice knowing you guys. And um, But as it turned out, um, Mel... Uh, saw Eraserhead one afternoon at 20th Century Fox, and I was told to come there. And uh, I was waiting outside the theater, and as the story goes, um, the doors flew open after the film was over, and Mel ran toward me, embraced me, and said, You're a madman. I love you. You're in. So that was how it started. <laughs>